Hello everyone, welcome to another video of DCMS Online. Today guys, I'm going to have a tutorial video concerning Survival Mode Season 3. I'll be explaining some mechanics from rounds 1 to 10. So here we have the first boss, Baron Von Savage. So what Baron Von Savage does, he has a skull move, which is going to be his first skull move where everybody got a block. I'll show you guys here right now. So everybody got a block here. Ultimate Iron Man unfortunately wasn't blocking and he got one-shotted. You guys saw his life there. The second skull, he normally take his staff and he pokes, you know, pokes me, or he might jump into the group and you know attack somebody in the group. As you guys just saw there, he jumped across there into the group. So basically, you know, he jumps away from me sometime when I'm tanking and he attacks the group. He might do the skull move and you know do his staff move where you just move away from it. Or he could do the one shot mechanic. So that's basically about it guys. This boss is very easy, Baron Van Savage. It's a very easy boss. So Baron Van Savage is about to be get defeated there guys. We now be moving on to the second boss. Well, I should say the second boss is for so wrong two. Which is going to be Carol Ferris and Impassion Catwoman. So the mechanics is pretty simple impassioned cat woman runs around a lot so you make sure you gotta avoid you know all her charges and stuff basically for Carl first when she skulls like that there everybody got a block if you in her range you know if you're in her range you got a block otherwise you could just move away and don't take any damage from that skull mechanic and all the time gotta do is basically lunge and move as he I moved there I just lunge because it does a lot of damage on the group especially in the higher rounds and let's move out of those purple little stuff on the floor those little stars that Catwoman put on the floor you just gotta move out of those two impassion Catwoman and I just gotta launch her attacks she's using Martial arts, so just gotta learn those moves. It's a pretty easy fight. You said moving away when she on Carl Ferris skull that way, you know, in case I block and cut woman, impassion cut woman, block break me, you know, I won't take any damage. In the higher rounds, unfortunately, guys, it's better to run two tanks, you know, separate them. But I'll explain that mechanic in the higher rounds when I get to it. But for now, you could just use one tank and pretty beat these bosses very easily. I said before, Catwoman runs around a lot. That is what I cannot control. You know, but it's a pretty simple fight. It's got a block that's called mechanic, as I said before, and that's about it. Pretty simple fight. All right, guys, I'm moving on to the third boss here, guys. This is going to be Deathstroke. You guys should know this one, you know. It's a repeat from all the survival modes that we had from before, season 1, 2, and 3. So we'll now be moving on to Deathstroke. So you guys stay tuned for the Deathstroke fight. So here we have Deathstroke guys. This is a pretty easy fight also guys. Basically if you completed season 1 and season 2 you'd have an idea how to fight this boss and all his mechanics. But if you need to survival mode, I will explain all the mechanics right now. So the first thing Deathstroke is going to do, he's going to drop a supply drop on the ground. Everybody got to block this move, otherwise you're going to get one-shotted. So as you guys just see there, Candy Crumbs wasn't blocking and he got one-shotted. You could either block the move or you could run around, you know, that beam he does with his rifle. The second mechanic he does is the skull move. We try to target someone with that sniper. Mostly, most likely the tank just lunges his move and you knock him out of it. So most of his moves are just lungeable, guys. So most of the time I'm just going to be lunging with the rifle. I'm using a rifle weapon. So I'll be lunging most of his attacks and knocking him out of his mechanic. Otherwise, he's going to one shot some. See. So when he skulls, I just got to lunge him a lot, you know, so that way he don't kill someone in the group when he targets them. The group is, he's going to target someone. You're going to see a blue icon around your body. As you can see there, you know. Candy Crumbs has the blue target on his body there and 
he can get one-shotted by that sniper that Deathstroke does, that movie does, the sniper move. But I'm launching him, so, you know, I'm knocking out him out of the mechanic, so he doesn't need... <laughs> Sorry. So he's not able to one-shot Candy Crumbs. So another mechanic Deathstroke has, guys, is his iconic suit phase. You see he put a little blue shield around his body there. DPSs could just burn through that phase, guys. If you happen to have, like, slow burn for some reason, and that mechanic, you know, occurs, he just explodes and do some damage on the group. But for the low level rounds, you can't survive it. For the higher rounds, you know, he can one shot people. But in most cases, DPSs are able to burn this phase, you know, burn through this phase. So he doesn't have that iconic suit mechanic where he explodes. Also, during this phase, guys, you can drop a supply drop during the iconic suit phase. And he's not gonna beam the group as you saw in the beginning, you know. Most likely when you drop a supply drop, he would, you know, do the 360 beam and you have to block it or run around him to survive. But you can drop a supply drop during the iconic suit phase and he would not do that mechanic where he, you know, he beams everybody with that 360 beam. So that's it here for Destro guys. Moving on now to Dark Father. So the mechanics with Dark Father is pretty easy guys. If you guys completed the Elite Duo, for the episode that's active right now which is episode 43 you guys would have an idea how to you know fight this boss and all the mechanics that he do so one of the mechanics he does is when he skulls i'll show you guys here if he does it just now in a few so when he skulls there he's gonna charge that's one of his mechanic you just move out of his charge then he's gonna skull again and do orbitals on the floor you guys can see the orbitals there you just move out of the orbitals the little red icons on the floor the omega icon just move out to that ads are also going to spawn the dps is just kill the ads it's pretty simple so dark father also going to do an omega beam when he skulls he's going to do an omega beam that's just lunge just lunge that move and it's a you know it's pretty easy it's launch it as you guys saw there and he also teleports also, so you gotta be careful when he teleports. Just did the orbital there, somebody got one-shotted. Kind of got one-shotted. And did the teleportation there. And, you know. So his his moves are pretty simple and easy. If you guys did the Elite Duo, as I said before, for this current episode that's active right now, which is episode 43, you guys would have a, you know, easy time doing this boss it's really really simple really really simple orbital just gotta avoid it and it's also teamwork on the group too because sometime i may be out of range when he teleports and he might do the omega beam and he would might be able to one shot someone if you don't get the lunges in time most likely you know the group helps out with the lunges but most of the time i'm doing the lunges but you know my teammates will help me with the lunges because you know they they are very supportive so the dark fight sorry the dark father fight guys it's you know a pretty easy fight it's a little challenging in the higher rounds but no nobody well for some people it is challenging if they work as a team because you know if the tango as i said before if the tango get the lunges someone get one shotted from the omega beam you know what i'm saying guys so it's all about teamwork for this boss basically it's, but it's just pretty simple, pretty simple mechanics, nothing too much. With that being said, guys, now I'm gonna be moving on to Cosmic Boy. So you guys stay tuned for that Cosmic Boy fight. So we are at wrong five here, guys. I'm gonna explain the mechanics for E for Cosmic Boy. So the first mechanic he has, guys, is the skull move where he normally faces someone and he throws three balls at them and one shots them if they don't avoid all three balls as you guys just saw the candy crumbs did not avoid the mechanic and he got one shotted from that skull move the other mechanic here guys is he's gonna transform everyone into different colors make sure you stay away from the person of opposite color for example if you're blue stay away from red also if someone is blue you also stay away because blue and a blue will explode a blue and a red will tether so make sure and stay away from opposite colors guys 
stay away from the colors you know not all players get colored so you could be next to a player that doesn't have that transformation color you know for example if you're blue or you're red this mechanic guys where he has that metallic form you gotta throw those little icons at the side here guys as you can see the players are doing it and if you guys can see it there I think the storm color is blocking and then he's gonna spawn ads guys the first set of ads you know you just take out the ads it's pretty simple ads pretty simple ads Just kill the ads. So the first set of ads and the second set of ads guys are very easy. I'll skip to the third set of ads and show you guys here now. The Peacemaker is the main ad you know you gotta worry about. The Peacemaker stuns, stun locks is like a hard, hard stun. Well not really stun you know you're not able to like really use your powers you know you can't really move fast. So someone in the group have to lunge most likely the tank cc's that peacemaker and the uh, dps is focused and kill the peacemaker as fast as possible also the troll could be lunging this peacemaker and stun it also helping out with the cc so the peacemaker ad just make sure and get rid of that ad as fast as possible that appears in the third set of ads so the last set of ad guys now it should spawn in a few just gotta wait for it to burn on a little bit okay there's ad spawn here so it's gonna be a technician ad and another ad the technician ad is gonna be the main ad you gotta worry about so the dps is gonna make sure and take out this ad as fast as possible because this ad heals cosmic boy so if you dps in make sure and take out this ad as fast as possible evil cosmic boy just be saying evil cosmic boy yeah so as i was saying you know make sure and take out that technician as fast as possible and this mechanic i forgot to mention one thing guys doing the missing mechanic it's also going to have balls spinning in the red area as you can see there make sure and avoid that because it can do some damage if you stay in that you know little area where the balls are spinning and they happen to spawn on you they can do some damage so this is it here for the fight with evil cousin boy nothing too much now we're moving on to round six which is going to be metallo and vice so you guys stay tuned for that fight i'll explain all mechanics so here are the bosses for round six guys it's going to be metallo and vice you could get away tanking you know solo tanking it at the row rungs round six but at the higher rungs guys it's preferred to use two tanks so the first mechanic that metallo do is that skull move which needs to be launched otherwise it does some damage on the group also vice mechanic he's gonna try like spit some red spew on a vomit on the floor make sure and avoid that mechanic and don't stand on it because it do a lot of damage and also vice charges so make sure and avoid you know his, his mechanic Metallo is pretty simple. Most time, he's gonna launch most of his moves and knock him out of his mechanics, especially when he skulls. You know, I can knock him out of that. I'm basically kiting him here, guys, because you know it's only me alone. Knock him out of that. Yeah, with a rifle, launch him. Ultimate Iron Man, I think, launch him also. And basically, he's gonna spawn those little blue pools. Well, not the bosses. This for this round. Those blue pools are gonna start spawning on the floor, so make sure and avoid those blue pools. They're gonna start spawning from now, from round six. So make sure and avoid because they can do some damage on you if you happen to be DPSing and stuff. Also tanking and healing, you know, any rule, they do a lot of damage. So this fight is pretty simple at around this round, round six. I said before, lunge at skull move, I just lunge it there. Vice runs around a lot, so I just gotta keep pulling him and taunting him. And getting him back to me you know it's a mechanic that i cannot avoid which is that you know move he charges people i can't avoid him from this like i can't stop him i mean from running around and doing that mechanic also vice he does a one shot move where he throws like three red balls make sure and avoid that sometimes you know players get one shotted because you know they can't avoid it but you know it is what it is 
If you get one shot to somebody could pick you up. If someone happened to go down in the red, you gotta wait a little bit to pick them up, you know, unless you have a shield. Sometime in the higher rungs, the shield breaks instantly, so take heed and pick them up, you know, if they're in that red pool with vice pew on the floor. Make sure and pick them up as soon as a pool goes away. But you know that sometime you know sometimes you might lose a player in the pool because the pool just do so much damage sometime in the higher rounds. But this is the lower rounds, so you can get away with it. So as I said before, the fight with Vice, make sure and avoid his red spoon on the floor and everything should be pretty simple. With that being said guys, now I'm gonna move on to round seven, which is gonna be the Minotaur. One of the past bosses from rounds one from sorry some season one and season two so you, most of you guys should know this boss but if you're new to survival mode i'll explain the mechanics for this boss it's pretty straightforward so here we are at round seven guys now it's going to be the mentor fight as you guys know from previous seasons season one and two the mentor is a pretty easy fight all you gotta do is mostly launch his one-handed attack as you guys saw there the tank and the troll could do this Sometimes the DPS can help out too. The second mechanic he has is where he's gonna charge someone. Knowing there's an arrow that shows the direction he's gonna go, a red arrow. As you can see that he has charged someone there. He charged Wicked and Wicked didn't move out in time. Make sure and block and get ready to roll when he charges you. It's good to line up on the green chain. That way, when the Minotaur charges the green chain, he gets stunned and you know you could do a lot of damage on him at that point. So another mechanic that I watch out, as I said before, from these rounds, you know, you gotta watch out for those blue pools that spawn there, yeah, yeah, so. So the basic thing to do here, guys, is to get him to charge the chain, the main thing. As you guys see there, you got to charge the chain, and then he gets stunned, and then you can do some damage on him. After a little while, you gotta back up a little bit, because sometimes he lunges across the room and he shoulders most likely the tank, but if you're in the line of sight, you'll get one shotted. Another fight is pretty simple. You know, at this round here, round seven, it's pretty easy at the moment. All the tank guys just keep on doing the lunges. And it's a pretty simple fight. Also, the next mechanic I want to see is that he also spawn that axe, where he chose that axe, and he'll be spinning, and he'll be following someone in the group. Make sure you take away the axe if you have the axe on you, it's falling you. Take it away from the group. That way, you know, they could continue doing damage and doing the mechanics and stuff. Try not to bundle when you have that axe on you, when the axe is falling you, the spinning axe. From the tank perspective here, guys, I guess, see yeah, I'm constantly launching him with the rifle. When he comes close, you know, just block and run away because he's going to do some melee attacks like guys I saw there's a perfect example of his charging and two people was in the way and they got knocked out that's a perfect example right there when he charges to make sure I move away so it's basically you know get the lunges on his one handed attack and that fight should be pretty simple Alright guys, Beast Boy now, I think this is the easiest boss in the whole survival mode. In his first form, which is his original form, Possessed Beast Boy. Nothing much, you know, there's some movies that's got a lunge and, you know, nothing much really. Just launch his basic attacks and avoid it and stuff. As you can see, I'm doing there. So after a little while, when you burn him a little bit, like a quarter way down, he should transform into a ape. He should transform soon, I believe. I'll show you the mechanic when he transforms to the ape. So basically, I'm just like dodging on, you know, his attacks a little bit. Okay, now he's at the ape, so it is a quarter way down. 
So the AP basically gonna launch his mechanic there where he stump smash. Let's launch that. It's a pretty awkward and funny fight. You know, he just stays in one place and well, the DPS burn him so quick and get to show the mechanics. But <laughs> yeah, the higher wrong, you just keep on launching him. The dog now, you just run away from it. Kite it a little bit because it will bite you when it gets close and do some serious damage in the high rounds. So the tanga just gotta run around. You could run around in the circle, out the circle area, or you could jump from left to right over the, the boss and run from left to right as I'm doing here. Just trying to get the dog next to you. And it's pretty simple. This fight, the fight is pretty simple. Pretty easy too. The easiest um, boss I would say. Now in the middle, he every time he transforms he goes to the middle. The phoenix is the last form. All the phoenix do is spit some fireballs, and if you get close to you, do some serious AOE damage. So if you tank in this boss or your DPS, then make sure not to be close. Stay far as possible. And when he throws the balls, make sure you avoid it. Most likely, he throws most of the fireballs on the tank, and the tank could easily avoid that and survive it. Also, he, the tank could also take the hits because you know tank got such strong shields and stuff. So, Possessed Beast Boy is a pretty easy fight. I would say this is the easiest fight in a whole of survival mode. They could have made this boss a little tougher, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. Also, pools going to spawn, as I said before, in these higher rungs. So, make sure to look out for the pools also. So, that's wrong. A there, Possessed Beast Boy. We're about to finish him. After that fight, guys, we're going to move on to round 9, which is going to be the Cronus fight. It's a pretty straightforward fight, too. I'll explain all the mechanics for that. Alright, guys, stay tuned for the Cronus fight. Alright, guys, we are at round 9 now. The boss for this is going to be Krona. This is a pretty simple fight. If you're tanking him, make sure and keep him close to the wall, but not too close. Because you gotta run around him when he does a mechanic. I'll show that later on. But try to make keep him close as possible to the wall. There's some attack that you could launch here. I guess I saw just launch it. Also, he's gonna point at someone and try to one-shot them. Make sure you block when he points at you. Alright, this mechanic where he scores and he raises his hand up in the air. Get ready to run around because he's gonna have the beam. That green beam, you could run around, or if you're not good at running around, you could go to the back of the room and you would not get hit from the beam. The second skull here, guys, this one here, you have to block it. Because if you, as you guys just saw, they kind of comes in block and he got one shotted. So if you don't block it, you get one shotted. And he also points there and he pointed at, I guess, one play and two of them was close together and they got one shotted there. I guess so, ultimate armor and candy crumbs. This boss is pretty easy to tank at this round, round 9. You could face tank him. In the high rounds, you know, you gotta move away a little bit, you know, and range him and stuff, but I'm just talking about the mechanics here. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Also, the pools are gonna be spawning, as I said before, in these rounds, so make sure to avoid the pools. For this beam attack, the tank normally runs around. The DPS, I think, went in the back on the support rules. One DPS is running around. If you're not good at running around, don't even try it, because what happens, you could end up dying, and somebody could go pick you up, go to pick you up, and then he could go into his other phase, like that's the phase there, and that's the one you gotta block. And while picking up, you know, you could get one-shotted, because, you know, you're not able to block, because you're picking up. What else mechanic he has? I said before the pools. Launch most of his attacks, block his melee attacks when he comes close. Kind of comes got one shot from that move there. Raises his, every time he raises his hand, just remember the guy, the animation. He raises his hand, get ready for the beam. Because the beam is going to be spinning around the room and get ready to run around or get to the back of the room. As I said before, so people wasn't, you know, 
able to move away in time and they died. There's one move where he skulls, not this one, that's one shot. There's one move where he skulls and he encases people and he throws you across the room. That's when he points there. You gotta block that. I don't know if he's gonna do it in his fight, I can't remember. Yeah, that's in case, my dear. See, they got in case and I got pushed away. And then he does a beam on me and let's move on to that. So this fight is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, you know. Just avoid his skull moves. Make sure you block. One of the skull moves, you gotta block. One of the skull moves, he raises his hand and he goes in 360 around the room. And there's other move where he points at you and you need to block that move. So those are the basically the three moves that you avoid. Sometimes the beam tool might be invisible, as in this case here, it's invisible. He's going around the room, everybody's running around, but you can't see the beam. It glitches out, it, sorry, it glitches sometime and you're not able to see the beam. This one here, you got to block it. Yeah. So that's it there for the Kronos fight, guys. I'm now going to be moving on to the Superman fight, guys. So you guys stay tuned for the Superman fight. I explain all the mechanics for that. Alright guys, this is going to explain something we could, the second set of eyes guys is going to have a sniper, the jailer sniper, make sure, as if you're tanking, make sure to keep the lunges on the sniper, that way he don't one shot someone in the group, also try to CC him if you could, also the troll could help out too, and stun him. So, we are now about to go and start this boss here guys, Superman. Alright guys, with the Superman, there's a lot of mechanics I gotta explain. First of all, if you're basically tanking him, make sure to range tank him, especially in the higher rungs. Make sure to launch his moves and also make sure to block his combos when he gets close to you or you can run away. You know. Also, the pool is going to spawn, so make sure and avoid those pools. So, I'm um, just kiting him here, guys. He's gonna skull also, and he's gonna do heat vision and throw fire on the floor. The fire, if you happen to be in it, is gonna follow you. So make sure and run away and keep on moving. That way, the fire don't kill you because it does a lot of AOE damage, especially in the higher rounds. So when you burn on Superman a little bit, he's gonna teleport to the middle. Everybody gotta block to avoid his solar flare. If someone in the group is not blocking, the whole group can wipe. So everybody gotta be on point with the blocks. So after he does this, archer spawn in a few. The first set of ads here gonna be the statue mirror. That mirror ad and Hoku. Mirror ad, you wanna CC it a lot if you're tanking, the troll can help out too with the stuns, cause she spawned. She spawn adds the golems and those water golems they are very hard to tank you know they do their own thing they run around on players they hit really hard too so you got when you're tanking you gotta kite them you gotta move a lot so you could avoid you could avoid her from spawning the the golems if you can't see cc her as a tank you know if you're running two tanks in the higher rounds but i'm i'm see i'm doing superman and i'm doing the, the ads you know all good and stuff so i have to you know move around a lot and kite so as i said before mira she spawn ads make sure to call mira first hawk girl she charges people in the group so make sure you avoid her charges the, the dps kill her really fast i even get to see her do a mechanic but um i'm gonna be sure that in the higher rounds maybe later on superman is in the middle again everybody got a block to avoid his solar fear at this point guys now he's reached halfway arch is spawn again we should be getting black canary and green arrow for this one in the high rungs what our group normally do we take our green um green arrow first sorry and black canary after but if you got beast burn like in these rounds you could basically take out both of them at the same time because they die really really fast in these lower rounds black canary will do her scream you know, skull and do a scream. Make sure you get out of the line of the sight of the scream. Superman also gonna be pointing at people. Uh, you know, you gotta make sure and avoid it. Also, that cone when he does that cone move, it gotta be lunged. But he does. He, I don't think he did it in this fight here. 
Also, players are going to get an arrow over their head. They got to stay away from other players because you're going to be pulsing a little AOE damage around your body. And if you're next to a player, you're going to do some damage on them. Especially in the higher rounds, you know, you take a lot of damage. When Superman raises his hand here, as you guys saw, I just launch it there. He does the cone move that could kill a lot of players. Where he spins his hand in a cone. That move can kill a lot of players if it's not launched. So, you know, people can help out with that move. Players can help out, but most likely the tank gets the launch. He goes in the middle again. He blocked the solar flare. He blocked out with the solar flare, sorry. Then the third set of ads should spawn now. I believe this ad is going to be Cyborg and the Flash, if I remember correctly. Cyborg is the one you got to take out first. The Flash runs around, make sure to avoid him when he runs around. Flash could be constantly CC, that movie I got to launch it because he's doing the cone. Alright, I got him, Superman. Yeah, Fl um, Cyborg, as I was saying. You want to take him out first because he goes down on the floor <clears throat> and he does his mechanic. Superman was in the middle there and somebody didn't block. Um, yeah. That's what I'm talking about too. Superman goes in the middle and someone don't block and, you know, the whole group could wipe. I was able to survive it because I'm wearing the Lazarus pit. But as I was saying before, guys, we lost a lot of players there. You know, we got we gotta um, wing it and complete it. But as I was saying before, guys, with the cyborg, when he goes on the floor and put a little bubble on him, that gotta be lunge. Otherwise, he could do a lot of damage on the group, especially in the higher rounds, and he could kill a lot of players. So we lost we lost a lot of players there. We lost Ultimate Iron Man. We still had the healer, and we have one DPS. We lost kind of comes, and I think we lost the troll also so we basically three man it right now i'm not gonna call out who, who didn't block in this fight you know i'm not gonna put them on the spot <coughs> but you know you gotta pay attention to superman mechanics and block also i think somebody was burning the boss that's why we still had ads out when he did the mechanic in the middle so if the ads are out, make sure and burn the ads first. Don't burn Superman because he will go back in the middle. And the ads, you know, you don't want to have ads out like Cyborg and stuff. And the Flash out when they, he goes into the middle because they could block break someone in the group. Especially the tank while he's blocking. And that could cause a group wipe. Superman charging. So the last set of ad guys, they're gonna be Superman clone. He's gonna spawn his clone. Should be spawning a few. We just gotta wait and do this solar flare again. I mean, block this his solar flare. To avoid his um, solar flare one shot. And I think the ad should be spawning now, if I'm not mistaken. We might have a next call to block. Not the ad spawn now. Okay. So this ad, you wanna take out this ad. The faster you take him out, the better, because that ad charges people also. He also encases players. It's going to be tough because it's only three of us, but, you know, we'll get it done. That move there needs to be launched. He's doing a cone. He's freeze bread cone. That move could wipe players if the if the DPS burn down the main Superman and he goes into the middle and you're coned too and say you happen to break out while you know to the end then you're able to block in time you could get wipe on that arm face also so make sure and take out the, the clone as fast as possible don't try to put any more burn on Superman because he will go in the middle the best thing to do guys is take out the ads as fast as possible Superman tried to do the cone move there. I wasn't watching, but I got the launch on him. Lucky thing he was doing it on me, you know, and this is the low level wrongs. The higher wrongs are going to be terrible there with that move. So the Superman clone, you know, is pretty, pretty simple. If you, you kill him really fast, you know, guys, you can be CC'd also, stunned and you knock down and stuff. The troll could help too on, on the high rounds, but you know, 
we don't have the troll at the moment superman should be going in the middle soon he's charging someone or yeah, he also skulls and he charges someone most likely the person food this away he's raising his hand yeah that got to be launched yeah so let's watch out for superman while they do now like the ad phase also guys the statues because superman needs to be launched that's one he teleports to the middle that needs to be blocked there yeah as i was saying yeah superman needs to be launched when he raises his hand and do that cone move also he points and charges at someone not really points actually he he just calls and charges someone and that's about it not too much with superman he does the heat vision that's just put the fire on the floor and if you happen to have the fire as i before keep moving because the flames are going to be following you especially in the higher rungs that do a lot of damage as i said before but yeah so that's about it for the superman fight guys you know, it's, it's a little tough here now because you three man in it guys and really, really tough so yeah that's about it as i said before guys i will have more videos on the channel i have that dps tournament video coming up make sure to look out for it the final round of the gods here's dps tournament season one you know the final so make sure to look out for that video also have a money making video concerning this survival mode so make sure to look out for that video too and i'll also have my guides coming up soon fire dps in fire tanking and so on so and fire battle tanking also yeah so make sure to look out for those videos if you haven't subscribed yet you can take the time right now and feel free to do so but it's up to you also don't forget to like and share the video guys give it a thumbs up all right guys before i leave you guys i just want to thank mr ultimate iron man mr brad mr blighty tubes Mr. Candy Crumbs and Mr. Kistro for making this video possible. Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate it. With that being said, guys, now I'm going to leave you guys. Blessings, guys, and protection to you guys all. You guys take care and have a blessed day. Peace. That's when you call me and know just what to say